In this video, we're going to create an array of objects that have instance variables. So already created in this world, I have four tortoises. And in the tortoise class, every tortoise has a unique point value. Now you assign that point value in the constructor. So every tortoise has a unique value between one and 500. So, in my first method, if I wanted all of the tortoises to call the constructor, instead of doing one by one, I'm going to create an array of tortoises here, and then I can tell all my tortoises to call constructor. So, it's an array of the data type tortoise, and I can call this turtles and it is an array and then I have all my tortoises and now in my first method instead of calling each individually I can do this option where all of my tortoises so this I can say like which turtle given the array of turtles I can drag in which turtle is calling the constructor. So now every single tortoise has a unique point value. Okay, so as of right now, all of my objects have been called constructor. So we could have the tortoise say their point value. So I have the tortoise say a whole number. I'll just choose zero. And in functions, there is a point value. But notice, I don't want the desert tortoise 2's point value. I want which turtle's point value. So, oops, the other problem was I didn't want tortoise 2 here. I wanted which turtle. This will say each of the tortoises will say a unique value. So they all have unique values. Okay, so now in event listeners, you could have all sort of things where if you click on the tortoise, your points go up by that amount of points. Um, it works for card values. It works for any sort of like running around and collecting games. Now, every unique object in your class has a unique value for whatever, you could have more than one property. Thank you.